Hey guys, welcome to another Linux Tech Tips and Tricks video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Log Rotate. So if you never heard about that, Log Rotate actually, it's pretty self-explanatory. It rotates the log. Now you're probably like, why would I need to ever rotate logs? Well, if you've ever worked in a production system and you kind of don't realize that log files kind of just grow infinitely when you just output logs to a file, you'll soon to be realize space is not free. You always have a limited amount of space and eventually, eventually, you will hit 100% disk space. Now, for those of you who work production on call or any other type of system on call and you have a learning around disk space, the worst thing that you can have is when disk space hits your threshold, alerts you and then gets cleaned up slowly and then alerts you again at like 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. So having log rotate to keep your logs in a nice, you know, orderly fashion of a specific size and rotates daily or weekly or however you define it so that you keep your logs in a good spot and not too big. It makes life so much better, guys. But um, we'll show you how to do that so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content or want to sponsor me or send me some free swag or hardware, my email is in the description below. So, okay, guys, let's get started. So we'll log into our CA server. Uh, it really doesn't matter what server you log into as long as uh, it's your Linux system, essentially. Um, you can you can actually do this on all your systems because that, that would actually be good for the ones that you actually have log files that you need to send. So we will log in, we will type our password in incorrectly the first time so we can type it in correctly the second time. So in here, we essentially, um, by default, all of our systems have actually log rotate installed. So we can actually grep or cat the uh, log rotate um, conf file, which really doesn't tell you much for the most part. Um, there's some default values, there's some things, but the, the important thing here is this includes, which shows that there is actually other um, config files in this log rotate.d directory um, that we can actually see in regards to what else is configured. So in this case, you can see like bootlog, btm, crony, fair to man, firewall d, other things in here that actually show you what exactly is um, also have, have a log rotate configuration. Um, so we'll just take a look at one right here to kind of give you a brief overview of what it, one kind of looks like. So in this case, you got anything in the var log SSD directory that um, with the star, it's a wildcard. So essentially anything dot log in that directory will treat this um, log rotate. So it will essentially check weekly um, if it's missing um, that's okay, so don't worry about that. But it won't rotate if it's if it's not empty. Um, the shared scripts is essentially a section that will share across anything else that um, for for multiple logs and stuff like that. So essentially, if you had like two log files that would do the exact same like post rotate, where essentially you would need to restart service, you don't want to restart that service twice, right? It makes no sense. Um, and, and obviously that could scale really badly. Like you have to like rotate like 20 logs and restart the same service. You don't want to restart your service 20 times, right? Doesn't make sense. Makes sense. So the shared scripts essentially kind of just shares that across all the logs that you need to do in, in the specific case. Then we got rotate. So we'll rotate up to two rotates um, before the, the last log drops off because you there's no point in keeping like the oldest log after that. Um, we obviously, you can compress it so that it's actually smaller. Um, compressed files actually make it a lot better. Um, you can delay the compress until actually it moves. So copy and then compress type situation. Post rotate is what we were talking about where you can essentially run a command to do something after it rotates. This is more important for applications that aren't very good at um, file, uh, manipulation stuff. So um, if your application doesn't support log rotating very well and needs to be restarted um, after a log is rotated, this is where you would put it essentially. So what we'll do is create an example for your app, right? So we'll just name it app here. Um, we will do the log and we'll create a log called raw log app. Um, in this log, what we'll do is you know, we'll set the rotate to two. So we'll essentially see it, the, the second one drop off afterwards. Um, we will also do this daily. Now, no, when it does it daily, it's actually just part of the cron. So whenever the daily cron log rotate runs, that's when this will rotate will run. So it's not necessarily like, oh, it has a certain amount of uh, size. It's just going to automatically rotate. It doesn't do that. It's actually backed by cron here. Um, but we will set the size also to be 10 megs. So once it hits 10 megs, um, 
on the, on the on that check or and 10 megs are over on on that check it will rotate um we'll also compress it because why not um if it's missing it's okay but we know it won't be missing um and we'll set not um if empty um and that is essentially kind of like your very base base kind of log rotate nothing nothing too fancy so we can cat this and you can just see it's just gonna focus on this. We didn't want to call this because we only want app.log in this case. So what we would do is write a for loop here and we will just output one through whatever the amount of this number is. Um, I think it's like one million. Is it one million? One, two, three, yeah, one million into this uh, app var log app.log. Um, I don't know if this is gonna actually hit 10 megs. We might have to do it a few iterations. It's totally fine. Um, but we can see here, var log app dot log. Uh, it's only 6.6 .6 megs. So we'll run this again so that it just outputs more stuff. So then we'll get about 13 megs. So at that point, we're gonna not wait <laughs> a day for this to actually rotate, but we'll actually we, you can actually force it to rotate. Um, so we can actually use uh, the user bin, uh, sbin log rotate and just hit the config because then it will run through everything. Um, so then we can run that and it'll actually go through and look at all the configs and rotate if it needs to rotate. So in this case, if we were to look here for our log and then we can grab for app, you can see that it rotated. So now the, the new app.log is zero bytes. There's nothing in it, but it, it was compressed over here for log uh, app.log into the date time format, and essentially this is your compressed log. So what we will also what we will do now is actually uh, set this over here to be two million um, because we know that that's that's more than enough two million. And we'll do do this two more times so you can see that the logs will actually drop off after two rotates. Um, this is really important to note because the more logs you keep, the more your system will run out of space. Now, granted. Um, especially with logs because the text compressing them does do uh, a one wonderful job, right? Um, so you do, you probably don't have to worry for a while, but I mean like, you know, five years, 10 years down the road, you, you'll be like, oh my God, I got like 300 of these logs because I, I put rotate 300 instead of rotate two, right? Um, now, depending on your, your specific uh, scenario, um, you might get into uh, a spot where you're like, oh, well, we need to keep all these logs. In that case, you might want to um, think about a log cent centralized log management solution or something else to keep those logs in. So, okay. So now you can see that it actually skipped this destination because the, the date w has already happened. Now, this is because it will grab what the current day is and rotate it. And because we said to daily, this would never happen where it would rotate twice. So what we're going to do is actually just rename this and we will rename this to be um, like yesterday's uh, yesterday's day. Uh, we need two days to go. Oh, did it actually 29? All right. Can oh oh I'm in the wrong directory. <laughs> got got to be in the right directory, guys. There we go. And then we'll do the log rotate again. So now you should be able to see for log grep app that we got two days, three days ago, and two days. Um, but what we really want to show you here and what we'll do here is essentially show you the moment it will rotate and drop off. So so in this case, it should drop off 827 the next time it rotates. So let's go get that full loop here real quick and let's show you that it actually drops off at the very end. Hence the rotate two that we have in here. Um, so it will only keep two rotates. Boop, boop, boop. So yeah, I mean, log rotate is your friend. You should use it, especially when you have out of control logs. <laughs> um, I've been in too many situations where it log file just blows up in your face and you're just like, why? <laughs> um, 
it's a sad situation, you know. System admin life isn't for everyone, guys. That's, that's all I gotta say. But it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. All right. I need faster servers. If anyone wants to sponsor me for like faster servers, I, I wouldn't mind. I need, I need full NVMe. That's, that's what I need. Like full on rated NVMe. <laughs> okay. And that finished. So what we can see is there is now the 40 megs here. And what we're going to do is do the rotate. And now that we look at it again, you can see now that 27 has dropped off because it essentially has rotated enough that 27 is gone because it, it would be the third rotate. So there you go, guys. That is how you set up and configure log rotate. Um, hopefully, you guys will now go like, oh, I need to go set that up on my server now. Um, and if you do, great. If not, well, if you want to wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning because your, your disk space hit 80% because you didn't rotate a log, well, that's on you guys. That's on you guys. So, anywho, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.